Hi Aries, welcome to your Love Connection reading for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aries, we're going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody. So you have to at least know them. You don't necessarily have to be together. So please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. It may not be for everybody, but we'll take a look at the energy between you and this person, whoever you have in mind for this reading. Um, this can be past, present, or future. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and you can be male or female watching this. doesn't really matter. So let's see what's going on, Aries, in love at this time. Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome, everyone. So everything you need to know, Aries, about me, personal readings, um, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff down there, uh, playlist, tons of, tons of stuff. So please do go check that out. Uh, and... Um, what else here? Uh, having a brain fog. Um, <laughs> oh well. If it, if it comes back to me, I'll say it. So, Aries. This is Zodiac Oracle. Oh, if you like to <laughs> like, share, subscribe, comment, uh, hit the bell, all that good stuff, be greatly appreciated. Or check out my channel if you like what you see. Please feel free. And if you do, thank you. So, what do we have for Aries? Zodiac Oracle here. So, we get a sign element or planet and if you don't resonate with what comes out here that's totally fine so what do we have for Aries spirit at this time in love oh there we go for Aries let's see what we have for you Aries well we have Capricorn some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn if not totally fine Capricorn in the tarot in the major arcana does represent the devil which can be um can be a, a numer numerous amount of things. It can be fear, worry, stress, anxiety. It can be addictions, obsessions, um, kind of energy. So may not mean anything, but we'll see. Or you could just be dealing with a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right. So first thing I'm going to do here, Aries, with this deck, is get an opening love connection energy between you, whoever you're thinking of at this time. And then I'll pull one for you, one for them separately how you're both feeling about each other in the connection clarify all that with tarot so we're going to take a look at uh, that energy the actual situation advice possible outcome and then we'll get extra messages there with the other love oracles so aries what is the current connection energy like in love for aries for whoever they're thinking about at this time spirit please thank you so much for aries i'm thinking this one Oh, we have the castle, which is 19, which is 10s are about completions. And then one is always a new beginning. But we do have the six of swords at the bottom here. <coughs> Excuse me, which sixes are about healing and balance energy. And the six of swords is also about going into a better place, leaving the garbage behind, going into a better, comfortable, peaceful uh, place. So let's just see 19, I believe is the castle. So let's see, I love to read the little snippets in here because they're just little cute uh, snippets that come with, actually it's the tower. Corporations, organizations, institutions, and governments come under my influence. I am boundaries and restrictions, so be mindful of isolation. That's just funny with everything going on in the world today. Well, not funny, but wow. I describe your ambitions as well as your expectations. And let's not forget your higher education. I just got a win message. Maybe your loved one is right now in isolation due to the virus and the current conditions in the world. And you can't be with them right now. They may be um, like under quarantine and like maybe in another country. Like I'm getting like maybe India or something like in the Middle East. Maybe they're being quarantined in like a motel or or something or even a palace or something like that. And they can't leave. They can't come home. You can't be with them for some reason. That's just a weird myth. may not be weird. If that resonates with someone, leave me a message. Wow. All right. So um, I describe your ambitions as well as your expectations. And let's not forget your higher education. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what that has to do. But I mean, the tower in the tarot does represent a change, a disruption, uh, aha moment, a surprise, a breakdown, crumbling down of something, but we'll see. But this reminds me of like a golden palace, a castle, 
like a very rich, um, enriching energy. So I don't know. We'll see. So let's get one for you, Aries. How is Aries feeling about their person and this connection at this time? And love spirit, please. Thank you so much, Aries. Okay. We have the storks here, which is a good energy. It's about news coming in. We do have the queen of cups at the bottom there. King or queen, does it matter? That is about love and emotions. You have 17, 8, which is about action, travel, communication. So... Let's get one here for your person, how they're feeling about you and the connection. So how is Aries person feeling about Aries and the connection and love at this time? Okay, I guess this one. We have the fish here, which is about abundance. So, and we have the king of pentacles. So they see this as very stable and rounded, secure, abundant, prosperous, being very practical might be slow moving, but we have 34 here, which is seven, which is a very divinely guided number for me. So let's see here. 17 with the stork. This is how you're feeling about your person and the connection. With movements, upgrades, and improvements, I bring spring and the change of season. Sometimes my symbol stands for a new family addition or simply a new state of evolution. I can be your move or your next promotion. So this is movements, upgrades, and improvements and changes. All right. And your person has the fish here, which I know is about abundance. So let's see. I just want to read you the little snippet here. I bring plenty of abundance. I deal in commerce and sales. I advocate <clears throat> independence and promote self-reliance and trade. Water expansion and flow is my department. Be careful not to tip the scales between tipsy and loaded. You don't want to end up dizzy and bloated. <clears throat> okay. But <laughs> this is good news change kind of energy. And this is abundance. And this tower is like a very uh, rich, enriching, abundant energy to me also. So getting a lot of that energy in this connection. But we do have the mice here. Just 23. The seven of wands about being defensive. So something's nagging here. 23, five is about change. So something could be a little pesty, nagging kind of energy with the mice. Mm. So we'll see with that. It could be some sort of interference in your uh, connection here. Uh, oh my God. I just was looking through this and I saw the word park and I thought it said pork. And I'm like, what the heck is the heck of pork in here for? <laughs> All right, uh, it's funny to me anyway. Mice, you don't want me in your house. You don't want me in your blouse. Well, no, I don't want a mouse in my blouse. Uh, I bring loss. I bring theft and destruction and decay. I am your stress and anxiety. I am the worry in society. I am your nuisance. I am your pest. I bring sickness, sickness in your nest. Oh, oh boy. I don't know. I feel like maybe outer interference or something <clears throat> pesty or something here interfering sort of like in your connection. I do see a lot of growth, abundance, riches, kind of energy, good news and changes. There's definitely you have love for your person. They're very stable. They could, because they do have abundance with the King of Pentacles. They could own their own business or be, you know, like a very high ranking boss, CEO, vice president, president kind of energy. I mean, you have this palace, like the tower, but I see it as a palace. So, wow, they could be very, very uh, financially set here, your person. That makes sense for some. All right. So, or they just see this connection in this energy. So, let's see what the stork is about here for... Aries. What is the start here about for Aries? The Emperor and the Empress? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. And I had this energy before. I was thinking it before I even started shuffling, but I didn't say it. But I'm getting like a power couple here. Emperor and Empress. Are you kidding me? Divine Masculine and Feminine. Soulmate Twin Flame energy here. Power couple. This is a power couple. Something is interfering here though being a nuisance and pesty hmm. so that is just wow all right so you know i don't feel comfortable but you know what 
That is so odd. We do have the fish there, and then we have the fish there. That is just crazy. All right, so person here has the moon. So the moon is feminine energy, but you can be male or female in feminine energy. It doesn't matter. Some men are very feminine, even though, uh, you know, just because you're feminine doesn't mean you have to be gay or whatever like that. Um, injustice. Wow. Look at all the majors here. Okay, I, I, this is was the message I was getting, and now it's all coming out. Okay, this may be a power couple of some sort, but I feel like... So you could be like in business with your person, or you may own a business, or something like that. I feel like somebody deceived your person, and now they're wanting justice. So they might have, somebody might have stolen from them or maybe somebody broke in and, you know, or something like that. Because the moon can be about, like, injustice sometimes. It can be also, it can be about deep feelings or it can be um, secrets, secrets coming to light, not seeing the path clearly, being disillusioned a little bit here. But then you see the light coming out of the ice here. So in the sun and the moon here. Wow, that's just crazy. So I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like we have a power couple here, like a definite soulmate twin flame power couple here who are very well off. They're, they, they're either entrepreneurs or own a business or something here. It's something pesty good in the way. I'm getting like your business or something might have been broken into. This is weird for a love reading, but this is what I'm getting. And I think it came to light here because you see now these eyes now see with light maybe exactly who it is. Could have been somebody that you know or close to you or maybe even someone that worked for you. Maybe they, you know, went in when nobody was there. But I feel like whatever it was came to light here because the moon, you know, the sun always comes out when things come to light. And I'm seeing the light here. I'm seeing the light shining here, the light shining here. So I definitely feel like something came to light here. And that's that devil Capricorn energy. So somebody had ill intentions towards this power couple here. So, yeah, the sun. And I just said the sun brings everything to light, <laughs> you know, with the dawning of the day when you can't see cl uh, clearly in the moonlight. And now here comes the sun. Wow. And the sun does represent soulmate twin flame energy. So... This is odd. This feels like more like a general reading, but so somebody here, Princess of Pentacles, that is the Page of Pentacles energy here. Um, that may have been a message for some. For some of you, if you're wondering, you uh, Aries feel like this is a divine soulmate twin flame connection. Your person may have been a little disillusioned for a time here, but now they're like seeing with truth and clarity. And now wanting justice in this connection. They see the abundance in it. So now, you know, we have the sun. So you don't definitely see all the, you know, greatness in this connection. The happiness, the joy, success, victory. You know, healing energy. Everything, you know, wanting a family with this person. <clears throat> you actually may, may be the one to, you know, offer this to them. The Princess of Pentacles is usually... You know, a solid offer coming in, maybe slow moving. Nine of Wands energy. So, you know, been through a battle here, a struggle. Here, that's the energy between you. So maybe this has been a struggle for the two of you to get this together for some reason. All right. Or whatever they've been through. Maybe, you know, they've been through a lot. But I have two different messages here. So Nine of Swords, stress, fear, worry, anxiety. So for some here who is a power couple, you know, if something happened, um, your home, your business or something here where there was something deceitful, something happened here, uh, but things came to light, you know, there definitely was stress, fear, worry, anxiety about this. Um, somebody may have appeared to be more uh, innocent than what they appear to be. You know, they came came off as very, you know, smart, practical, trustable, 
a very innocent, but yet I feel like they kind of had ill intentions with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is usually about, you know, wounded warrior. You keep fighting no matter what, if you have to. But I'm just seeing the look in his eyes like somebody came off as one energy but had ill intentions kind of energy. And now things have come to light in that situation. For some of you, now the stress, fear, and worry, anxiety over this, what's going to happen now, you know, about the situation. Or, you know, your person here was a little stressed out. For some of you um, here uh, about the connection with you. So what else here? Ace of Swords, but again, they have truth and clarity here. Sword of victory and success. Truth, clarity, open, honest communication, cutting away things not serving, standing up, speaking in truth, not backing down. Also for you, for some of you who are a power couple that had this happen to you, again, seeing with truth and clarity, things coming to light about the whole situation. So two, two different stories here. Take what resonates. This is what's coming through. For those of you, like I said at the beginning, may have somebody like in quarantine somewhere, like in another country, another state, in a hotel or a palace or a, something here, um, there will be healing. So there will be healing and overcoming of this stable growth forward, fighting and not giving up, stressed about it, but it's a sort of victory, so total healing, truth, clarity, and victory. So things will be okay. We got two nines here. So it could be nine days. Um, nine weeks is a long time. I'm getting like maybe more like nine days, nine or ten days. All right. So three different stories now. Wow. And that does represent like the sickness. So that's why when, you know, it's the first thing I thought of, especially when it said um, <clears throat> what it said in the book there. So let's get advice. What's the advice for this here? I think your person, for some of you, now also see you as their divine counterpart here with this Ace of Swords. So, so like divine energy to me, divine intervention, bringing in uh, the truth and clarity of the matter. So let's get advice for this situation. Now the Ace of Wands, fiery, passionate in the beginning. This also can be entrepreneurship energy. So for some of you that do have like this power couple in business or whatever here, that is that energy too. Or maybe you just started a very successful new endeavor or business or something like that. It's a fiery, passionate new beginning. So this is advice. He advice here is this fiery, passionate, exciting endeavor, project, idea, new beginning, passionate uh, connection. Okay. Princess of Wands. So this is the Page of Wands. So it's good news coming in. Fiery, passionate communication. King of Swords, truth, clarity, kind of energy. King of Swords, King, Queen of Swords, energy too, that divine energy to me, shedding in the truth of clarity. Also, people coming into clarity, having honest, truthful communication. Again, cutting away things no, not serving. And also, the Swords energy can be legal matter. It can be um, legal advisors. It can be lawyers. It can be authority. Um, things of that nature. Um, like, uh, what, I, I can't think of what I want to say here in the King of Pentacles. Wow. So definitely you're the King of Pentacles and we had, I think the King or Queen over here somewhere. So yeah, the King over here. So that's reconfirming that, that some of you could be like a business owner or I'm um, getting a banker or own, even own a bank. I don't know, something like that. But, um, this could be legal matters, legal authorities, of some kind, um, like the police and investigators, that kind of energy also. This is the good news coming in. So there will be good news for some of you uh, that have this happen to you, to a power couple. The good news will come in about this new thing that you started. Whatever happened here, good news coming in, getting the legal authorities, advice, whatever here that you need in this situation being very stable once again getting your coins back getting your justice 
here. For some of you in a love situation here, again, um, it's a fiery, passionate new beginning. Good news coming in. Someone seeing with truth and clarity, being very stable and grounded about this connection. So that's the advice. Somebody may me to make communication first. Uh, that, okay, this is a divine connection and maybe nobody's acknowledging that. So the King of Swords is, okay, let's acknowledge this. Somebody makes needs to make that communication first to have this fiery, passionate new beginning and uh, being very stable and grounded about the whole um, situation. And for those of you who do have somebody in quarantine, I do see, again, you know, getting zest for life again, you know, passion for life again, having a new beginning, the good news coming in. Um, even the King of Swords could be somebody in the medical field saying somebody is, you know, stable and secure. It's a possible outcome here. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles energy. So being stable, grounded, secure, again, uh, independent, making money, having everything you need. Possible outcome here. Usually my single card, but it uh, doesn't have to be. I mean, you could still be with somebody, but still be very independent in your own right. Wow. Two of Cups energy. Did fly out in reverse, but um, I don't feel like it belongs. So soulmate couple here, definitely. That's how I felt. So lovers coming back together. If you're separated from somebody, lovers come back together. This definitely is soulmate union here. Um, someone going from single to soulmate union. And manifesting this so somebody will manifest this whether it's you or them again seeing all seeing with truth and clarity having soulmate union and no longer i feel like this needs to be reversed no longer being single all right let's see what's on the bottom of the deck three of swords so heartache pain uh so yeah your person could have been in a lot of pain if they were quarantined maybe they were sick you know, this is also you you feeling, you know, heartache and pain about your person or feeling heartache and pain about, you know, having whatever this meddlesome energy was that happened to you and your power couple here. But things going in a better direction. Peace, harmony, leaving all the BS behind here. Being in a loving, caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy. Love, an abundant kind of energy. You know, laying down heavy burdens, again, laying down the heavy burdens, being able to rid all that energy and how having um, patience, healing, balancing out energies here, soulmate energy again, again, faith, hope, optimism, which is coming true, healing energy again. So closing out all the BS, whatever this situation, how it, however it uh, plays out for you, closing that chapter, starting a new chapter, putting it all behind you, and things just going in a better direction with the Wheel of Fortune, fate, destiny, and uh, better timing, luck expansion, things just getting better from here on out. So we have Sagittarius, we have Capricorn, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo, we have Aquarius, we have Sagittarius again, the King of Cups here is Pisces. Let's see, we have Aries, the Empress is, I believe, um, Libra and Taurus, Libra, Cancer Pisces, uh, let's see here, Gemini Virgo, Virgo, King of Swords here, I believe is Gemini, uh, that's the Page of Wands. Page. I don't do the pages. <clears throat> I think that's it. All right. So a lot of different energies there. So and then of course we got Capricorn again up there. So please only take the message that resonates with you. I have three different storylines here. So however that resonates for you, if somebody has someone who does have <clears throat> the uh, coronavirus or is sick, I do see them getting better. Um. Justice will be served in a power couple here that had either a theft or burglary or something happened, uh, embezzlement or somebody stole something. I do see justice being served, uh, it coming to light, it being prove, proven and shown who actually this was and justice will be served. And I do see a, connect, a soulmate connection uh, coming together here. 
somebody now seeing uh, with truth and clarity, this is a divine soulmate union and actually manifesting this and coming together with truth and clarity. We have passion, we have success and victory, uh, all, kind of, all that energy. We have all the energy here. So a lot of growth and abundance in this connection. All right, Aries, let's get some love messages from this deck, feeling these two. Honesty is essential. Be a loving person. It's important that we speak truthfully and have a loving manner. 83 is 11. <clears throat> 11 is being on the right path. 11 is also half of the twin flame number. And then two is unity. So being essential. Uh, honesty is essential. So I feel like, again, someone's going to be honest here and say how they truly feel and say they also see this connection. But somebody may have to acknowledge it first, and then the other one will also acknowledge this is a soulmate twin flame connection. Honesty, somebody may also uh, fess up here if they did something to this power couple. All right, so then we have here, have patience. Love is patient and kind always. 17, 8, action, travel, communication. So having patience in this whole matter, as hard as it may be. <clears throat> All right. Wow. Okay. I'll say one more and that one went flying. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take breaks. 42 is 6. So again, going into a, a better peaceful place, balance, um, and peace. So, and rest and relaxation. Again, again, if someone's in quarantine, rest and relaxation. Wow. I can't make it up. So... <clears throat> we have here speak the language of love loving words have the power to change someone's life including their own 35 8 8 again about travel action communication so somebody may you know for this power couple where somebody may have done something here um somebody may actually like talk to this person in a way where they confess <clears throat> and that may be how it comes to light for some of you, again, two soulmates coming together and speaking the soulmate language of love and also reuniting, coming back to you with your person who is, if they are in quarantine after they have healed and coming back together. Wow. So a lot of different energies here for you, Aries. Wow. Okay, Aries, best of luck to you. Sending you may, uh, many light, light, love and blessings. Wow. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.